All right, guys, today we're going to talk about one EDC tool that you're not even trying as an EDC enthusiast if you don't own. And of course, it has to be the Leatherman Charge Plus. Now, mine in particular is probably arguably the more unattainable version, the G10 model, especially the Earth G10 model. However, you don't necessarily need something this rare or this expensive because these do get expensive on eBay. But I do think that the Leatherman Charge is probably one of the best multi-tools out there, bar none. And here is why. Now, most people, especially when they talk about Leatherman, they will really agree that Leatherman Leatherman's Wave is one of the best multi-tools out there. And the best thing about the charge is that it keeps that same basic tool set. Um, you know, the file on the outside, the saw, the fully serrated blade, the fully plain blade. Um, it keeps all that tool set. It just reduces the overall size and width. And for most charge models, even though I do realize they are more expensive, the charge usually comes in a little bit lighter, not just because obviously it's smaller, but they use aluminum handle scales, or in this case, G10 handle scales, or some of them even come with titanium. And I will say the one kind of pro to the fact that um, things like the charge are, sorry, the wave are getting more expensive. It just means that honestly, they're getting closer in price to the charge. So nowadays it's even harder to justify buying a wave when these are not actually that far off. You know, usually your charge will run you about 160 to $200, depending on which variant you buy. And honestly, at 160 bucks, this thing really is not that terrible um, in consideration. Now, obviously people will always argue, you know, like, $160 for a multi-tool, but at the same time too, I will say this as like an adage of like fairness, and that is that I can guarantee you that this Benchmade 940 that was in my pocket five seconds ago costs way more than this um, Leatherman Charge Plus. And on top of that, these both actually use the same blade steel. This is uses S30V for its blade steel. This charge also uses S30V for its blade steel. And on top of that, you have pliers, you have a litany of different tools that you can use. So ultimately, I think a lot of this uh, is kind of skewed, uh, at least as far as mindset goes, because honestly, when it comes down to it, like this can do a lot more than just a knife. And it honestly is probably a little bit less than a higher end knife. Now, obviously, yes, there are exceptions to this. There are cheaper knives, especially things like the, you know, Ontario Rat Model 1, but most EDC enthusiasts, like people who are getting more seriously into everyday carry are going to be looking at more expensive knives. The 940 here runs a usually a hair over, you know, like a little bit over $200, I believe $220 to $240 for a 940, as you see it here. And and uh, once again, this thing is going to be about $180 to $200, so close, but at the same time too, this is still a multi-tool and has a lot more function than just a cutting implement. So do keep that in mind when you look at the price point of something like this. You know, it might seem ridiculous at first, but it is not actually that crazy. In addition to, like I said, and kind of going back to it, a lot of people think that the Leatherman Wave has the best general purpose tool set. And I would happen to agree with that. I think that the Surge does beat it out, but the Surge has a very like mission specific. It is a tanky, overbuilt, heavy duty multi-tool that is going to weigh leaps and bounds more than this guy. It's also going to be the largest multi-tool in Leatherman's like reasonable collection. Um, so it's, it's not the most practical to EDC. I did actually used to EDC it um, or previously had for a while, but it still was one of those things that if you do run something like a surge, you're going to have to wear it on your belt. It is not a, you know, thing that you're going to be able to throw in your pocket. And for me, I think that's really what ended up winning me for the charge is that regardless to whether I'm just running the charge or whether I'm running something like a, um, so yeah, it is very convenient. And like I said, that's what ended up winning me out for this blade or for this tool as a whole is the fact that I can just throw it in a pocket and forget about it and it still be there. And whether I'm running a knife or not, this is still very easy to carry on me. And once again, gives me that added benefit of having really solid pliers, wire cutters, wire strippers, um, can openers, freaking um, 
screwdrivers, uh, just totally a ton of things. Even the, the scissors are definitely not my favorite, but they do get the job done in a pinch. So anyways, I think that this is a multi-tool that is totally worth picking up. Like realistically, I think that if you are getting more serious about EDC tools, gear, knives as a whole, having a Leatherman Charge in your collection, at least one of the many, many flavors out there of the Leatherman Charge is very important. I at one time had three different charges. Um, I now have just two, but I have one that's like the normal aluminum handled 154 CM blade. And then I have, of course, my nicer one here the g10 with s30v but either one and honestly even the titanium one rock solid options and honestly they are really really bang up tools so anyways that's all i have to say about this tool and like i said like realistically these things are so worth checking out definitely um, add one to your list if you are more serious about edc anyways guys as always god bless and i'm out